Planning a trip can be very difficult sometimes, no matter if you're an RVer like me or if you're just trying to fly somewhere or do a road trip. You have to plan every single detail, how to get there and all the places that you're gonna go when you get there and possibly in between if it's an actual road trip. What if I told you that planning your next trip doesn't have to be so stressful, that there's an actual tool out there for you to use that's simple, effective, and has everything all in one place. It has all the places that you wanna to go to, all of the things that you wanna do, all the people you wanna see, all the restaurants that you wanna to go to, all in one place. And it's easy to use. Hi, my name is Amber and I've been on the road for a little over four years now and have been utilizing this method of pinning on my map. I'm gonna show you how to use it too and it is one of the easiest tools out there that I have found. It can seem a little complicated in the beginning if you're not sure, but that's what this video is all about, is to teach you exactly how you can use this tool and take the mystery and the guesswork out of it so that you can plan that trip easily without any hassle and get on the road and have some fun. The tool I'm talking about is called Google My Maps. You just go to Google Maps. There's various ways to get to it, which I'm going to show you. And you can also use it on your phone using Google Maps. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can integrate your My Maps into your Google Maps so that you can get to your destination quickly and have all your pins and all of your places that you wanna stay on your Google Maps on your phone. All right guys, we're just gonna dive into it now and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is log into your Google account, which is typically your Gmail account. You will need a Gmail account for this. If you haven't already signed up for Gmail for some reason, just go to gmail.com and you can create an account. We're not gonna go through that in this exercise just because it takes a little bit too long, but that's how you can get an account set up. So you can go to this map area two ways. You can go to maps at google.com your places, and then maps, and then you'll see a list of all of your maps. So that's kind of the long way to get around it. You could also go to my maps, oops, my maps in Google, and it'll take you directly to all of your maps that you have created. All right, so let's start with creating a new map. So I'm gonna hit create a new map. So this is just called an untitled map right now. And we're actually going to plan 2022 travel plans for next year. So we just give it a title. So for you, it could be a trip that you're going on vacation. It could be just a quick trip that you're doing a road trip. So you would just name that whatever you feel like would be appropriate. And then you can add a description here if you'd like and then hit save. So the next thing we wanna do now that we have a map created is we want to start adding what's called layers. And so you can see over here, there's something called an untitled layer. And so layers are simply basically categories of information that you can toggle off and on. So we can create as many layers as we want. So if I wanna rename this layer, for instance, this is all the hikes that I want to do. Hikes and well, bicycling trails. So hikes and bicycling trails. The next layer, if we want to add one, is called add layer right here. You just simply click on that. And the other layer could be hotels I want to stay at or hotels, in my case, campgrounds <laughs> or campgrounds. Sometimes I do stay at hotels too. So this is very versatile, whether you're just doing a quick trip that's a road trip and you need hotels or you're an RVer like me, you can do either or. So the next layer, I'm going to add restaurants because sometimes I like to plan like different restaurants, especially if people tell me like good places to go to. So I'll say restaurants. Another layer. So the other layer is things to do. I always like to add this too if there's people that I'm going to see along the way. So I'll say people, you can make that friends and family. So that's another layer. Another layer, of course, is going to be destinations. And this will be a little bit more explainable when I start working on it. So we'll just start with these layers for now. So here comes the fun part, is to start actually pinning the places that you want to go to, and you're going to pin them to the map, but under each of these layers here. So let's say the first destination that I wanna to go to is Bar Harbor, Maine. 
So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to make sure that I'm in this destination category area and I'll hit add to map. And then the cool thing is that you can also do your own icons for this. So you can, when so that when you're looking at the map, you can see all these different icons and you know what they mean. So for destinations, I like to keep it this little blue marker that it already shows. So I'm just gonna keep that one there. But something that I would love to do in Bar Harbor is I would love to go to Acadia National Park. So I'm gonna click on things to do and then type in Acadia National Park in Maine. And it brings it up for me, gives me the location, also gives me some great information like the URL for the National Park Service, phone number, you can view it in Google Maps. So I'm gonna hit add to map. And I like to make different parks like this with a tree icon. So you can go and see all of your different icons here and you want, if you want to search for one, you just click on the filter. I'm gonna type in tree and there's a tree right there. So I'm gonna use that tree and I'm gonna make it brown for kind of a camping thing. I don't know why I always associate that with, with that. Maybe it's because the National Park Service does that. Ooh, it's getting windy out there. All right, so we're gonna go to Acadia. So see how it showed up under things to do. And then we can see it on our map here as well. Okay, so then while I'm there, let's say I wanna go to I want to go to a restaurant and I know that there's a great place there called Thurston's and here it is Thurston's Lobster Pound in Bernard, Maine and it shows me that it's down here. Now you can see it kind of zoomed in a lot. Sometimes you want to really see where this place is at and the relative position of the destination you're going to or if it's even close to where you're going to be. So I'm going to kind of zoom out and see where this is at kind of hard to see with that little window right there, but I can see that it's on Mount Desert Island, which isn't too far from Bar Harbor. And to me, it's worth the drive, so I'm gonna go over there. So we're just going to click on that again, and I'm gonna add that to the map. And I wanna add that under restaurants, which I already showed you, and I give an icon that is, I think we can just type in meal, will that do it? No, type in food, food, there we go. And then I click on this little restaurant icon, and I make it black. So this is just my kind of color coding system. All right, for me, for a campground, there is a Thousand Trails campground in the Bar Harbor area. So let's see, Bar Harbor, if I just, this is really great because you can type into Google all different kinds of information and it'll start pulling that information for you. So Thousand Trails, Bar Harbor. Let's see if it comes up with the one that I wanna go to. No. So the one that I like there is called Narrows 2. There it is. It's in Trenton, which is just close to Bar Harbor. So I'm going to click Add to Map, and then I'm going to find the little RV right there, the little icon. And I'm going to make that kind of an orangey color. So there. There's my campground. And then let's just fill this in up here too. So hiking and bicycling. Um, I know that I wanna hike around Jordan's Pond in Mount Desert, there it comes up. <laughs> it's great how it has that information. I'm gonna hit add to map and then I'm gonna make this green with, let's see, hiking, does it show up hiking? Yeah, there we go, the little hiking icon. So you can see that I accidentally added it to hotels or campgrounds because I was clicked on that instead of hiking and bicycling. So all you do is you click on it and you just drag it up. And then now it's under hiking and bicycling. So that happens quite frequently if you don't actually click on the layer that you want. If I zoom out, you can see that I have some items pinned here. There's the campground, Bar Harbor's my destination, doing some hiking at Jordan's Pond, my restaurant, and then also Acadia National Park. But I need to get there, right? So that's the key, is we wanna figure out how do we get from point A to point B. So let's say I'm starting out in Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. All right, so that's gonna be my starting point. I'm gonna add that to my map because that's where I'm gonna either be driving from or flying from. And we're just gonna call that a destination. I accidentally put it under friends and family, so we're gonna move that to destinations. And along the way, along the trip, there's so much in between Phoenix and Bar Harbor, Maine, 
This is the cool thing is you can kind of zoom out of the map and look along the way to see, all right, there's a lot in between here. So where do I want to go? So let's say I want to visit Niagara Falls in New York. And we're going to include that under our destination as well. And it's already got the correct icon for that. And then um, I think I'll stay at Golden Hill Campground in New York. Love that place. I've been there before. And we'll add that to the map. So for this one, I want the RV again for the campground. And we're going to make that this kind of orangey color. And I put it under the wrong layer again. So let's just move that up. All right. Now we have a couple of places to stop along the way. So we're going to go from Phoenix, Arizona all the way to Niagara Falls, stay at the Golden Hill Campground, and then go to Bar Harbor, Maine, with some restaurants and stuff in between. So you kind of get the idea of how you can plan out your itinerary. These layers can change based on what you want. One layer could be fitness facilities, it could be other parks, there's so many different things, but it's really specific to you. So you can see how you can be really creative by adding additional layers that are very specific to you. You can also toggle these layers off and on. So let's say I just want to see like all my destinations, no other layers. So I'm going to click all of those off. And now all I see is destinations. You can zoom in here a little bit and see that. And then if I wanted to see just the places I was going to stay at along the way in those destinations, you just click on the hotels or campgrounds layer. Let's say too that you created a layer that you didn't really want. You can go over here. I'm going to take off this friends and family one since I haven't added any here. I'm just going to delete that layer. So you just click on the three dots and hit delete this layer. Very simple. One of the other things that I really like is you can kind of estimate the distance between one point to another point. So you can do that by clicking on this ruler up here. And then I'm going to click on Phoenix and it's going to, I'm going to drag it all the way over here to Niagara Falls and then click one time and it tells you that it's 1,939 miles. So I clicked once so that it would put a point there for me and then I'm going to click over here onto Bar Harbor and it tells me that it's now 2,445 miles. It's doing a straight destination and our highways are not straight so that's going to vary but that gives you a rough estimate of what it's like. So if I wanted to see how far it would be for me to go from Niagara Falls to Bar Harbor, Maine, you can see how it also gives you the miles in between. So by the time I get to Vermont it's about 300 miles then to Maine, it's another 545 total miles. Now I haven't clicked on it, right? So I can drag this anywhere I want. So how do you get out of this? If I click, it'll stay there. If I click again, it stays there. If I click again, it stays there. And you wanna get out of that so you can start pinning stuff. You can either hit the ruler button and you're still in ruler mode. So see, I'm hitting that again, I'm in ruler mode. You just hit the escape button and now you're back to your hand pointer and you can move the map around as you were doing before. One of the great functions of the ruler is that, let's say I had pinned the Bar Harbor destination up here and I wanted to go to the Thurston's restaurant down here, but I'm not exactly sure how many miles is in between. Like maybe I wanna ride my bicycle there. So we'll click on the ruler. I'm going to click on Bar Harbor and then I'm gonna click down here to Thurston's and it says it's roughly 12.8 miles if it's a straight shot but we can tell that it's not so we can see that there's a little bit of a highway here so maybe I'll click here then I'll click here and kind of follow the highway along here and then here so it's a total of roughly 15.7 miles so not too bad you could do that on the bike and then back if you wanted to if it's not too hilly but I think it's pretty hilly there let's say you're over here in Niagara Falls and you want to add a marker for Niagara on the lake, you just see it on the map and you're like, oh, that looks really cool. I want to go there. And you're not really searching for that because you see it on the map. You can click on this add marker and then just simply click there and it adds a marker and you can say Niagara on the lake and save. Then you just click on the hand 
pointer so you can go back to moving the map around how you want. jump in here really quick and just tell you about something that is near and dear to my heart and that is the nomad mentorship boot camp that I created for people who want to move into this nomadic lifestyle. So if that's somebody like you who's looking to move into a nomadic lifestyle and you're unsure of how to do it, where to go, how to start, what RV to get, and all of the different questions that come up when you're going to change and make a big lifestyle change like this and you want to get mentored, click on that link below and check out my Nomad Mentorship Bootcamp where I help people move into a nomadic lifestyle by mentoring them, answering all their questions, their concerns. We have live video calls, we have a community, and we have eight different modules for you to go through so that you can have a full action plan by the time you're done with all the modules. So click on that link below if you are interested in the Nomad Mentorship Bootcamp. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. Earlier I was showing you with a ruler how you could kind of measure the distance between two points. Also can show you another way that you can more distinctly measure how long the trip is going to take you and what the distance is. So if you click on this little icon that says draw a line and then click on, let's say we want to ride our bike again from Niagara on the Lake to the Golden Hills campground. So I'm gonna click on add biking route. I'm gonna click over here on Niagara and then you can see that as I move my pointer, it kind of follows the line of the road there. And then I'll click over here there's my point A and there's my point B. And you can see down here, it says directions. It automatically adds a layer called directions from Niagara on the lake to, if I open this all the way up to Golden Hill State Park. If I wanted to add another destination, I could click on add destination. And let's say I wanted to go to Niagara Falls that I already have pinned here. I just click on Niagara Falls and it adds it to my directions. So now I have my directions from Niagara on the Lake to Golden Hill State Park back to Niagara Falls. You can change the mode here if I didn't want bicycling. I could actually change that to a car or you could change it to walking if you'd like. That would be a very long walk though. So we're going to flip it back to a car at this point and see what that gives us. Then, now that we have a destinations layer, we'll click on step-by-step -step instructions. And so this tells us the drive is 75 miles, one hour and 36 minutes, and it gives you all of the instructions in between. So I'm gonna delete this layer. I don't want that on there anymore. We want to figure out how long is it gonna take us to drive from Phoenix, Arizona, to Niagara Falls, then to Bar Harbor. So we're gonna add driving route as a layer. I'm going to click on my destination that I already have down here from Phoenix. Phoenix, okay. Then I'm going to zoom out so I can see my map up here. And I'm gonna zoom in because we wanna go straight to, let's just say we're gonna go to stay at the campground for the night. So we'll go to campground as my second destination. So now that I have my destination, which is the Golden Hill State Park, as B on the layer, I'm gonna click on add another destination and then I'm going to click on the campground I'm gonna be staying at. So that adds that campground to my layer. So you can see the entire route from Phoenix all the way to Niagara Falls, then to Maine. I'm gonna click on step-by-step -step instructions and that tells me that it's 2,953 miles, one day, 20 hours and 35 minutes with all of the instructions in between. All right, perfect. So now we have an overall idea of how long this trip is going to take us and the mileage. Now, this is all on the desktop. So you can't actually push this to your cell phone by creating this layer. You can actually go to your cell phone and click on the layer if you want and do it, but you can't really add it to Google Maps, which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. Before I show you how to use all of this on your phone, I want to show you now a few other features here. So if you click up here where it says your 2022 travel plans, you click those dots, you can create a new map from here. You can copy this map. So maybe you are just figuring out different scenarios. So the one thing that I love here too is called set default view. And this is going to affect your map here and on your phone when you go and look at the map on your phone. So let's say you're already up here in Niagara Falls, okay? And 
every time you open your map, for whatever reason, it always opens up to this big global view of your trip right here, but you don't want that. You wanna actually see the detail of where you're at at that moment. So what you do is you zoom in to that particular area. So I'm gonna zoom in right here to the Niagara Falls. I'm gonna get as far in as I possibly can so I can see even more detail. I'm gonna go up here to these dots again and I'm gonna say set default view. Now this is my default view. So every time I open this map, I will show you. Let me, let me go to my maps. We're gonna click on 2022 travel plans. And now the default view should be, yes, there it is, my default view, it's perfect. So in order to share the map, you're gonna go back to your my maps dashboard right here click you can see that here's your 2022 travel plans and if you click on this little share map icon you now have the choice to share it via facebook twitter an email or you can embed on a website if you have one so another way to share where people can actually change your map depending and on there so let's say you're taking a trip with your friends and your family and you guys want to collaborate on the map so just click on this plus sign here and share Enable link sharing, that's on, and then click on this drive sharing button. Got it. So then in order to allow people to collaborate with you, you click on this change, and it says anyone with this link, anyone on the internet with this link can view. So right now they can just view. So you'll have to go over here and toggle to editor. So that will give you a new link, and then you share that link with your friends and family then it's all real time so they once they pin something on there you can see it they can see your pins it's a really really great tool so something else i wanted to show you too is let's say in bar harbor i just have bar harbor here as the name at the top but let's say i wanted to add some notes so i'm going to hit the edit button and I'm gonna say, yes, this is Bar Harbor, but I wanna add here that, maybe some other places that I wanna go to, like maybe these are notes for your friends and family as well about places that you guys can go to. And you can add links and everything in here. So let's say I wanna go whale watching. So we're gonna say whale watching here. Um, I could add a link to, let's find a place that does it, Bar Harbor, Maine. So here's barharborwhales.com. So I'll click on that. I'm gonna add that link to my map. So that way I have information about the place that I know I'm gonna be going to to do the whale watching. And also my friends and family have that information too if they wanna check it out. It's another cool, cool feature of this. So you can really plan out your trip and get to know exactly what you're gonna do all the places around there. And this is important if you're going on, especially a very long road trip. I wanna show you what a filled out map can look like. So I have my 2021 travel plans and you can see I have, here's my destinations layer, places to stay overnight, things to see and do. Here's all the National Geographic scenic highways and byways and then the people that I wanted to visit. But you can see I have a ton of pins here. So I started here in Arizona, went all the way down to Southern Texas, then to Florida, up to Maine, and then I was supposed to go to Michigan, which I didn't do. So I pinned all of these pins here to think about like all the places to go to. Here's a museum that I went to, Kennedy Space Center. Um, so you can see how this can get really kind of cool seeing all the pins and places that you wanna to go to. And it can also look really crowded when you look at it like this. So for instance, all the places that I wanna see and do, it's that's a lot of information. So maybe I just wanna see all the places that I can stay at overnight and we'll take off hiking and restaurants and to see where actually my National Geographic Scenic Highways and Byways starts and ends. So you can see that information very, very clearly now without having all of the other pins in place and can kind of figure out where exactly you're going to. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you're signed into the same account that you're signed into when you set it up on desktop. And then you're gonna go down here to where it says saved. 
and then maps and you'll see your maps here so there's my 2022 travel plans and now it shows us all of our pins so even though we had our driving directions on there it doesn't do that in here so it just says view map legend and it shows you all of your layers which you can toggle on and off if you want and make some adjustments this way you can see that when you try to use the destinations layer on here in the actual google maps it does not work so it just has an idea of how long your trip is going to be so in Instead, what you want to do is you know your first destination is going to be over here to Golden Hills. So you'll click on Golden Hill State Park, click on directions, and then go from your starting point in Phoenix. And that will tell you exactly how to get there, which is the actual directions that you want. So it tells you it's going to be one day, nine hours, 2,247 miles to get all the way over here to the Niagara Falls area to that particular state park. Then when you get there, that's when you'll actually want to go to all these other places and then you'll just click on the destinations to those. The point is, is that you have all of your pins here, all the places that you want to go to, and you can easily find them and get directions to them using your Google Maps. I hope you got a lot out of this and you can plan your next trip with ease. Leave me a comment below and let me know, have you already been using this? Are you planning on using it? What did you get out of it? Or if you had some more questions that I didn't get to in the video, I'd love to clarify those for you. If you like the video, click that thumbs up for me. I'd appreciate it. And also consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I love having you guys in this community and it also helps my videos to be seen by more people. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.